Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this. Now today we are back for another video on the channel. Now today it is game week 13 in Sky Bet League 1. Now some clubs have only played 10, some clubs have only played 11, but um, a lot of clubs have played 12 or 13 games now. And we're getting into the season now, we're really digging in. It's seven games now. Up until the run of Christmas, it's the best part of the year when football is non-stop. Now we've got the five subs rule as well. These will be into my predictions really because some clubs have a really good squad. Some clubs will be struggling to name five subs in my opinion. But we are going to get on with it. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 5,700 by the end of the weekend. If you could subscribe, that would be appreciated. It's free to do so. Also like the video. Let's get on with it. First up is Gillingham against Charlton in the early kickoff. It's 16th against 4th. Now, both sides played in the Cup. Charlton got knocked out to League 1 Plymouth. Gillingham got to Woking after being 2 0 down. They won 3 2. But uh, Gillingham did get back to winning ways against Crew before the international break happened. A good win away from home for them. Charlton beat Fleetwood by 3 goals to 2 to continue their unbeaten run. For me, I can only see one win, and that's Charlton. I think they're the best side. In the league at this moment in time, them and Peter Breath, Charlton look unstoppable in the league, scoring goals. Lee Bowie's got them firing. I think they'll come away at drilling in with a 2 0 win in this one. Next up is Aquinton against Lincoln. Now, Aquinton have won five out of the last six in Skybet League One. Two very good away wins of late against Northampton and Swindon, two sides that were in the League Two last year. But you've got to go and win. They've scored four goals in that Northampton game that I saw of it. They should have won it by a lot more. They were unbelievable, I thought. Kalini uh, is a good player. They've got obviously McConville coming back from injury. So it's positive signs for John Coleman. Lincoln did lose a couple of games before the international break. They did beat. Forest Green by six goals to two. For me, I'm going to go for a nil-nil draw. I think Accrington will continue the good form while Lincoln will stop the rot and hopefully pick up a point for them. Nil-nil at the crown ground. Next up, Burton against Northampton. Now, two sides, in my opinion, that will go down this year at this moment in time. Buxton and Keith Curler are really struggling for results. Burton only that one win all season coming against Accrington. Northampton, they are picking up a bit, but again, so inconsistent. The loss to Accrington at home on the weekend. Away from home, it should be. It's a six-pointer already. I am going to go with a Burton win just because they're at home, they have picked four of the seven points up at home. That one win and that draw being collected. Burton picking up their second win of the season. Could this kick start their season? Has Northampton well 2-1 to the Brewers. Doncaster Rovers against Sunderland. Now, Rovers are so inconsistent. They beat the sides that you don't expect. They beat Ipswich. They've beaten Lincoln. They've been unbelievable this season. But, again, the games that you should expect them to beat, the likes of Cruz... They've not been they've not been at it, unfortunately for them. Sutherland have lost the last three games in all competitions. Mansfield in the FA Cup, Fleetwood in the Papa John's Trophy, and now MK, MK Dons at the weekend, their first away winning 22 um, games for them. For me, I think Sutherland will get back to winning ways when Parkinson is always under threat there. He always seems to pull out a win. I'm going to go for a 1-0 slender victory for the, for the Sunderland boys. Getting a win at the keep mill. 1 0 to Sunderland. Next up is two very good sides, in my opinion. I know I'm biased. Fleetwood against Plymouth. Two sides that like to play football in the right manner. They've both scored 19 goals this year, Fleetwood and Plymouth. That is the second joint most. The first joint most is Peter Brett and Portsmouth scoring 21 each. We scored 19. They've been brilliant to watch all year. Ryan Lowe and Barton like to set up the teams. Both scouts, I believe, as well. I like both managers. I like the way we both play. Plymouth have only lost twice this season. I know they've only played four away games this year. So they've got, obviously, the least amount of points, but they played the considerable amount least. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw on this one. It's going to be a tight affair. Both sides will be in the top 10 minimum at the end of the season. Both play good football. Both are good to watch. It's going to be 1-1. And I said that's going to be a nil-nil with no shots on target. Next is Ipswich against Shrewsbury. Now, Ipswich, again, on fight in the minute. Five games at home, five wins, eight goals, zero conceded. It's just against the better side. I think they're struggling. They've lost to Portsmouth in the Cup. They lost to Sunderland. They lost to Lincoln. They lost to Doncaster. So, they need to be better in that department. Shrewsbury at home, who've only won one game this season. They're in the relegation places. They are struggling. 
We had a couple of good wins in the Cup of Light. They won against Cambridge. But for me, I can only see a 3-0 town victory on this one. And they'll climb back up that table. It's going to be an interesting one. But Ipswich winning 3-0 on this one. Next up is MK Dons against Hull. Now, MK Dons play some great football. They've actually got the most pass in the league by about 1,700. It's fleet run 4,700. And the Dons have got like 6,400 passes every, uh, all, all, all this season. So, again, they're, they're playing the right way. They're averaging about 700 passes a game. And it's just good to see Russell Martin's gone in there playing some good football. And I just think that he will get them playing again. I really do believe that. And the, he has done that. He got a first away win at the weekend against Sunderland in 22 matches. I think that's his first he's been at the football club. Great win for him. Great confidence boost. He played a whole side who are good, good, in, in a good settle right now. I am going to go for a whole victory on this one. A slender one, a 2-1. But it's going to be a tight affair for the Tigers as the Dons just miss out. Peter Brett against Blackpool. Now, Blackpool are in good settle at the minute and they've been winning a couple of games. They, they did get the first away victory in a long, long while against Burton Albion. Jerry Yates is up and running. They beat Eastbourne Borough. They've um, beaten, obviously, Leeds on the 21s in the Papa John's Cup. So, since Colin Calderwood has come on board, they started to win games of football again. They beat MK Dons at home as well. Peter Brett are good at home. Four wins, one draw out of the five games this year at home. Unbeaten. The most goals scored in the league are looking good, especially at home. A disappointing result for them last weekend, but I think they'll bounce back. I have predicted Blackpool to win pretty much every game in this prediction series. But I am going to go for a 3-1 Peter victory on this one. I just think Peter are going to be too strong for the Seasiders. But I do believe Peter and Charlton are the two going to go up automatically this Portsmouth against Crew. Now, Crew four away games, two wins, two draws, four goals for, four goals against. Very tight to beat the beat Doncaster away, but then they go and lose to Gillingham at home. So they're very inconsistent. You don't know what you're going to get, but they beat Peterborough last weekend at home. A brilliant victory for them. They've got characters in there, and Dave Artell is a good manager, in my opinion. Portsmouth just in a good set right now. They've changed to a 4 4 2 or 4 2 3 1. They play a lot as well. I am going to go for a 2 0 Portsmouth victory at Brighton. They're going to get another home win. Again, they're in the FA Cup round two as well. So they're in a good form right now. Tracking knows how to win these kind of games, especially at home. 2 0 to Portsmouth. Rochdale against AFC Wimbledon. Now, again, both sides will be looking to try and beat the drop. I think both sides will beat the drop. Got both got good managers there. I'm going to go for a 1 0 Rochdale win. Both sides need kind of will be looking to get three points out of this game because. They think this is a good chance for them to get three points. No offence to either team. It's going to be a very good counter-attacking game. I think Rochelle will just come out on top because they're at home. 1-0 winners. Swindon against Bristol Rovers. Now, Swindon, John Sheridan's gone in there. Good manager. I've obviously had the opportunity to interview him before. A brilliant manager. He not, didn't do too well at Wigan, but what could he do, really, in my opinion? Did well at Fleet. Was done well at Oldham in the past. Did OK at Chesterfield. Good manager will keep them up, in my opinion. A disappointing result against Accrington on Tuesday. But I think it will take time. We play Bristol Road with your manager at the minute. Tisdale apparently going in there will be a good appointment for them. I am going to go for 1-0 swing and they're going to bounce back after that disappointing result. And hopefully for them they'll get three points as Bristol Rovers the slump continues. And finally, Wigan against Oxford. Now Wigan did lose Sheridan to Swindon. Oxford not in great fettle right now. They're not on the best of form. Obviously losing in the week against Crew, a great victory for them. I am going to go for a 2-0 Oxford victory. I think Wigan will go down now. At the, the bottom of the pile, they, they look done. They look finished. The only shining light at the minute is Joe Garner up front, who's a good striker. But for me, unfortunately for the Latics, Oxford are going to come away with three points on this one. So there are my predictions. I did hope you did enjoy the video. Please smash a like rate if you did. Can we try and get 50 likes on this one? Subscribe if you need. We need 5,700 and you guys can really, really help that. So please subscribe. It really would be a dream if you could hit that by the end of the weekend. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Until next time, I will see you later. Up the cobs.